Should you use mint leaf tea every day? What benefits can this miraculous plant bring to your health, and what are the possible harms? Is it true that mint has medicinal properties, such as being a digestive stimulant and helping to combat anxiety, while giving more energy and focus, or is it just a myth? In this video, I will discuss mint, an herb known for its healing properties. What improvements will you notice in your body if you start using it regularly? In the end, I will teach you how to prepare mint tea and the best way to consume it so you can maximize its health benefits. So stay until the end. But first, enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel so you can take advantage of our health tips. I appreciate your support. And it is also essential for you to share this knowledge with your friends and family. Because when it comes to your health, our health is worth sharing. So share it there. And tell me, is mint part of your diet? Do you drink mint tea or use it as a seasoning in your dishes? Right below! Let's go! We have been using mint for thousands of years. One of the oldest medical texts in the world, the Egyptian Ebers Papyrus, written 1550 BC, cites mint as a digestive herb and a weapon for relieving flatulence. But it wasn't just the Egyptians who knew and used mint. In ancient Greece and Rome, the sweet smell of mint was used in rituals and to perfume the body and was also considered a symbol of hospitality. Mint is also a natural remedy. Greek doctors like Galen, Pliny the Elder, a Roman naturalist, described several medicinal properties of mint, such as its ability to alleviate digestive and respiratory problems. And it wasn't restricted there. The ancient Chinese, Indians, and Arabs all used mint in cooking, tabouleh, salads, marinating meat, like a lamb, and medicinally. And were the ancients right to use mint as medicine? Yes. Mint is a natural path to a healthier and fuller life. As I always say, there are many things we can do to improve our lives, especially our health. As you know, several products we buy daily contain mint oil, toothpaste, mouthwash, chocolates, perfumes, and even mint cigarettes. Be careful, as they have been proven more addictive than regular cigarettes. However, is there any scientific evidence that supports what the ancients thought about mint? Or is it only used to make tea and as a seasoning to make your dishes tastier? I will tell you seven reasons why mint should be part of your daily life. Benefit number seven, mint can help your memory. Imagine having a sharper memory. Since ancient times, Pliny the Elder and Galen mentioned mint as a plant that sharpened the mind, improved memory, and was a tonic to improve concentration. Modern scientific studies corroborate this ancient wisdom. Recent research in humans has suggested that chewing mint-flavored gum could benefit human memory, although others have shown mixed results. However, it is different for animals. A study published in Frontiers of Immunology in April 2023 showed that just inhaling menthol, one of the active substances in mint, could improve the memory of both mice with Alzheimer's and healthy young mice. The study showed improvements in memory and cognitive abilities after prolonged exposure to menthol. You may ask me, smell it? What is the relationship between nose and memory? In fact, a lot. The smell can predict some brain diseases. Smell is one of the first things that is lost in Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Just seeing what happened with COVID-19 destroyed your sense of smell, and your memory also melted. So, memory and smell are related, yes. Mint have several bioactive compounds that help the brain, such as rosmarinic acid, which increases the production of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter essential for memory, learning, and concentration. Menthol. This improves alertness and vigilance, and flavonoids protect brain cells against oxidative damage, combating cognitive decline and preventing neurodegenerative diseases. Of course, a preliminary study in mice doesn't mean it will do the same in humans. But come on, right? Smelling mint, which is pleasant, may not improve your memory, but it won't harm you either. Benefit number six. Mint can help women with hormonal imbalances. Mint contains phytosterols, which are plant compounds that can mimic the effects of human hormones. This can help balance estrogen and progesterone levels in the body, which can help alleviate symptoms of hormonal imbalances, such as PMS, menopause, and irregular menstruation. And if you suffer from polycystic ovaries, a little mint tea can help you. It can lower your blood sugar, of course. There's no point in putting sugar in your tea, but it also regulates the menstrual cycle, reduces facial hair and acne, and improves hair. A study with women with PCOS showed that while it reduces testosterone, mint tea also increases LH and FSH levels in the body, which regulate the menstrual cycle and can even increase fertility in these women. Benefit number five. Mint can help with digestion and freshen your breath. Remember Egyptian papyrus? Mint has carminative properties, which help relieve abdominal pain and discomfort. It also stimulates the production of bile, which is essential in the digestion of fats, reduces intestinal inflammation, and can help with some symptoms of inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease and colitis. 
And see, it's no surprise that candy, like toothpaste, has menthol in the formula. Yes, it will help with fresher breath because mint increases saliva production, and menthol has antibacterial properties that fight bacteria. That cause bad breath. But look, if you suffer from bad breath, brush your teeth and tongue and go to the dentist. Benefits number four, mint, like coffee, can give you energy without making you anxious. If you feel too electric from coffee, mint can be a great alternative to boost your energy without the anxiety side effects. Mint contains menthol, which stimulates the central nervous system and increases alertness without interfering with your sleep. As you know, coffee acts on adenosine. It is an adenosine antagonist, blocking its receptors in the brain. And adenosine accumulates in the body, giving that feeling of tiredness and sleep. Mint does not act on adenosine, but instead increases the production of dopamine and norepinephrine. It also has a vasodilatory effect, improving blood circulation and oxygen to the brain, reducing the feeling of tiredness without making you anxious or compromising your sleep. Benefit number three, it can help your skin and hair. As I said, mint can reduce acne, and menthol can also reduce skin oiliness. Your skin will appear more radiant and youthful. For hair, it can also reduce oiliness and dandruff, relieve an itchy scalp, which is why some shampoo brands include menthol in the formula, and stimulate hair growth because it increases blood circulation in the scalp. Benefit number two, it can help with your breathing. Remember that Vic Menthol is a natural decongestant that helps open the airways and reduces nasal congestion. It can be helpful for people with colds, allergies, and sinusitis. Mint also helps to facilitate expectoration, removing phlegm from the airways. And it also has anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and muscle relaxing effects, which can relieve coughing. Benefit number one, it can relieve pain. Just think about ice cream and salon pas. Why does it have that smell? It has menthol, an active component of mint with analgesic and anti-inflammatory properties. Menthol works by blocking sodium channels in nerves, preventing the transmission of pain signals to the brain. Additionally, menthol causes a cold sensation in the applied area, which helps distract the brain and mask the pain. The ancients used it for headaches, muscle pain, joint pain, arthritis and rheumatism, toothache, and stomach pain. And of course, these traditions had a grain of truth. And what are the risks of mint? As I always say, avoid overconsumption of anything. Just because mint is good for you doesn't mean you'll put mint leaves everywhere. In general, mint is a safe plant. However, if you suffer from reflux, it's best to avoid it. Menthol relaxes the lower esophageal sphincter, facilitating the return of acid to the esophagus, causing heartburn and even food regurgitation. Additionally, mint can stimulate the production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Of course, you should not take or eat mint if you are allergic to it. Feel itchy, have hives or have swelling. If you take a lot of medications or have a specific health problem, talk to your doctor. Some medications such as anticoagulants and antihypertensives can interact with mint, especially if you overdo it. Some people are best avoided such as pregnant women, women who are breastfeeding and young children. What is the best way to use mint for maximum benefits? Use fresh mint. Fresh mint is tastier and has a more potent aroma than dried mint. Try different ways to use mint. You can use mint in teas and juices. Pineapple with mint is also used in salads, sauces, meats, desserts, and other recipes. Just don't overdo it! You can also use mint essential oil in aromatherapy, massages, and compresses. Make a face mask with crushed mint leaves and natural yogurt to improve skin and hair health. Add a few drops of peppermint essential oil to your shampoo or rinse your hair with peppermint tea. How to prepare mint tea? Ingredients, one cup of water, 10 fresh mint leaves, and optional sugar or honey to taste. No need, okay? Heat the water until it boils. Then turn off the heat and add the mint leaves. Cover the cup and let it steep for five to 10 minutes. Strain the tea. You can add other herbs such as chamomile, ginger, or lemongrass. Mint tea can be drunk hot or cold. And that is all. Consume in moderation and enjoy the benefits of mint in moderation. Cheers to you. I want to ask you all a favor. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. By subscribing, you're helping us grow and ensuring you stay updated with valuable information. Sharing this video with your family and friends is crucial. You have no idea how it could positively impact someone's life who might be going through this. Also, giving it a thumbs up helps YouTube distribute this content to more people, including those who may not have access to doctors or specialized information. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you so much for watching and for all your support. Stay healthy, stay happy!